Good afternoon. My name's Scott, and today finds us once again dealing with the programmable Genie wireless keypad remote access control device. Now, the last time that I had to deal with this thing right here was because I, I couldn't figure out how to code it, and so I worked it through, and we figured out how to how to code it. Now, today, the problem is this weather protection hood, which is so very, very vital to the success of this keypad. Now, it has a tendency to work its way off. Let me show you what I mean. So first of all, let me show you how to put it back on. So there's these two little, those two little uh, hinge doohickeys. There's one there you can see, and then there's one right there. Those have to go into those holes right there, one on each side, as you can see. Now, the problem is that when I put it on, so now it's on, as you can see, it's on. They're nestled in there very lovingly. But the problem is, is that as it operates, it just it just uh, it just comes right off. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I figured out today on how to keep that from happening. You'll need a rubber band about this big. I'd say that it's probably about no bigger than my eye, my eyeball. It would wrap around my eyeball. I bet I'm not going to take my eyeball out to show you though. That's another video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I think if I can, let me turn the camera around and hopefully I can get the camera on this. Can you see? So there you see the keypad and there you see, oh I should have used a wide angle lens for this, should I not have? Oh there we go, now you can see. Okay, so, uh oh, here comes somebody to complain about his little sister. I know he's going to do it. He's going to ruin my video. I just, oh, no, it's the little sister. All right, so take this rubber band and put it on there like that. Why are you doing I'm making a video. So now you can see the rubber band is on there like this. And then you you're going to just take it and you're going to go, oh, no, I shot the rubber band off. This is hard to do with one hand. Come here, sweetie. Hold this like this. Just like that. Don't don't cover the camera with your fingers. There, there you go. Just like that. Hold it right there. So you're gonna take it, the rubber band, and you're gonna put the rubber band around. Don't try to look, sweetie. You're gonna you hold it to. like that. See now you can see you can see what the camera can see. And now you're gonna take it and you're gonna cross it like that. It doesn't matter which way. But you wanna have your fingers on it. From, the front side probably like that right and you'll do a neater job than I'm doing because I'm just doing it with one hand all right and then you're gonna take it and I see your hands. you're gonna wrap it around like that okay now look see see how it goes around in those hooks like that can you see that I can see, see how it goes like that I can see it. can you see it and it comes around and it's got a cross and now you're going to just lower it right down into there. And then, sure as anything, there it is. Awesome. It's fixed. It, it's, it's, it's not going to last forever, but it's an, it's an easy fix. It'll keep it from falling off. It'll even go all the way up and come back, and come back down again. It's almost like the manufacturer meant for there to be something there. Probably some brilliant engineer had the idea that they would put some sort of elastic type device around there, but then Genie, in their infinite wisdom, and cutting costs, decided that they could save at least a dollar, maybe 50 cents, for every one of these that they manufactured. So they said, no rubber band. But the design stayed in. That engineer probably just snuck it in. And there you have it. Works like a champ. You can see it's, it's certainly his opened up and closed more times now than, than it ever does without falling off normally. See, I'm just opening it. 
closing it, and <laughs> Addie's honking the horn on her bicycle in the garage. All right, very good. Now I'm going to enter my code, and I'm going to close the door, but not before my daughter comes out of the garage. Goodbye.